Gilpilly sealed off parts of the capital Kuala Lumpur in advance. More than 20,000 activists demanding fairer election rules and more political transparency. Live to Madoka Square in Kuala Lumpur, Margot Ortigas is there for us. What's the situation now, Margot? Well, as you mentioned, indeed, it's been tens of thousands of people who have come out in support of the electoral reform protest action. But aside from that, we have to remember that there are two other groups who have taken to the streets today. There is one that's called Prakasa, which is really a Malay, an ethnically Malay group that is also in support of the government. Aside from that, the, the ruling party's youth group has also come out in a few thousand people. Now, there have been arrests made, a total of over 600 as of this moment, and we understand that leaders of all those three groups have been detained by police. Now, they will be detained. We don't know exactly how long for. They are in for questioning. As you mentioned, police have declared all protest actions, all rallies on the streets of Kuala Lumpur today illegal. So they're saying they're treating all groups fairly by taking the leaders of all three groups. As you mentioned, tear gas has indeed been used. Uh, and in some areas, we understand that water cannons have been sprayed as well on some of the protesters. Now, I have here with me Ibrahim Sufi from the Merdeka Center, which is an independent research uh, group. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Hi, good afternoon. What is your assessment so far of how the police are reacting to the demonstration? Uh, I think what we are seeing today is a very uh, a large force of the police being deployed from other parts of the country to cover Kuala Lumpur. Um, and in some sense, given by the number of demonstrators that I have personally seen on the streets, it's uh, rather much larger than uh, what's needed to control the crowd. So you think this is an overreaction in some sense? Uh, in some sense, it, perhaps it is, partly because the clampdown on Kuala Lumpur uh, has started uh, even from yesterday. And so not just the inner city that's being affected by the riot control or the public order control, but also the outskirts of the city where hundreds of thousands of motorists are complaining about severe traffic congestion and not able to get to the places where they need to be. Do you feel that the restrictions that the government has put on the protest actions today has actually contributed to the way the situation has developed? I mean, it's yes and no, and partly because of their perhaps concern over how the different pro competing protests today may spin out of control. You know, they have, I think, put in place a very strong security force. But on the other hand, uh, there seems to be also excessive security outside of the city that's preventing people from going about their daily business. Uh, but I think more importantly, within the city itself, if, let's say, the uh, opportunity had been given for the protesters to gather in separate venues, it might have all been taken place peacefully without disrupting public order. Uh, last question, sir, for you. What are the implications, you think, of this uh, for the government of Malaysia and, indeed, Malaysia as a whole? Uh, I just understand that a number of the protest leaders from pretty much both uh, to all three sides have been arrested, but large numbers of leaders from the major opposition parties have also been arrested and some uh, unconfirmed news about injuries and so on and large numbers of arrests. I think in some sense it may paint a picture of a very disproportionate response to what is ostensibly a demand for a clean and fair election. So uh, I think it may not bode very well for the Najib administration, partly at a time when he's promoting his economic reforms, his public service delivery reforms. So this particular action and the uh, I think display in the international media will shift attention away from the reforms that he intends to showcase to the world to the actions that his security forces are taking on the ground. Thank you very much. Uh, that was Ibrahim Sufian from the Merdeka Centers talking to us about what's going on here on the streets of Kuala Lumpur today. And we'll continue to bring you the coverage live as the hours progress. All right. We'll talk to you later on. Margot Ortigas there. Thank you. Now, media mogul Rupert Murdoch due to arrive in...